The images of Chicago's skyline disappearing under this blanket of dust Friday have a lot of us asking still, what happened? NBC 5's Jen Schantz spoke with the National Weather Service about the last time the city saw a storm like this and why it matters. It reminded me of the movie The Mummy. From suburban freeways to the downtown skyline. It was very creepy watching everything get dark. Friday's dust storm has a lot of us still talking. Just making it to Chicago, you can see there, is, it's not common at all to get this. The last time the city experienced a dust storm like this was 1934, says Ricky Castro with the National Weather Service. We had a severe thunderstorm south of the area that was affected. Uh, that kicked out what's called outflow. That's the, the, the strong winds out ahead of the, well out ahead of the thunderstorm that, that were then surging northward. A dust storm in the mid 80s caused a deadly pile up on I-90 in McHenry County and brought visibility down to around four miles in parts of Chicago. Visibility from Friday's storm though was down to a quarter mile in some places. Entire buildings disappearing under that blanket of dust. Dust leaving its mark on cars and on homes and likely sparking irritation for people with pre-existing lung issues. Irritable eyes and cough and perhaps some dyspnea and wheezing and running knows. But because it cleared quickly, healthy people shouldn't experience significant symptoms. Climate change has led to more extremes for all weather events, Castro says. For forecasters, Friday is another data point. And unlike during the Dust Bowl, it comes with countless photos and a digital record. If we have anything similar happen in the not too distant future, then we know, hey, it can happen and we feel more confident in what we put out in terms of uh, the warnings that we issued.